Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario. Welcome back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D, my channel devoted to answering questions regarding intrauterine contraception. In today's video, I'm going to deal with a unique patient population, and that is the population of women who are using intrauterine contraception close to menopause or in the perimenopause. Um, so we're talking women who are in their late 40s and early 50s uh, in this instance. Now, uh, the first issue that I want to address here is to definitely reaffirm the fact that women in their late 40s and early 50s, if they are not yet menopausal, if they are still having men menstrual cycles, they definitely still need to use contraception. Now, I realize that, as, as do most people, that fertility is declined in the late 40s and early 50s. So the rate of pregnancy is very, very low in this population, but it is not zero. So if you're still having menstrual cycles, if you haven't officially entered into menopause, you do still need to be using contraception. And just a reminder that if you are with new partners, you do need to be uh, using condoms concurrently to prevent sexually transmitted infections. Now, speaking of the menopause and just in terms of a definition for you, menopause is defined as 12 months without a cycle. It is a clinical diagnosis. Um, we tend to diagnose menopause not so much based on blood work, although that's sometimes used and we'll talk more about that. But in the general population, we're diagnosing menopause not by a number from a lab test, but by the clinical history, have you been 12 months without a menstrual cycle? Now in the perimenopause, it's very common for women to have irregular cycles. Someone might start into menopause or thinking that they're entering into menopause by skipping a cycle for several months and then all of a sudden have um, a menstrual cycle again. Uh, so that sort of pattern of bleeding is very characteristic in the time leading up to the menopause, the perimenopause, um, but you're not considered officially menopausal until you've been 12 months without a menstrual cycle. One unique point that I want to bring up is that if a patient is using a marina IUD as opposed to a copper IUD, but a marina IUD, um, it has been approved for use beyond the five-year duration if it is inserted at age 45 or later. This is not recommended for patients who are less than age 45, but in the patient population that is 45 or older, when they have their marina uh, levonorgestrel IUD inserted, um, they can extend the use up to seven years if at the end of the five years they haven't yet reached menopause. Now, one unique um, situation to address is the fact that many women who use marina uh, in fact, up to 30%, many women may not actually have a menstrual cycle because of the marina. And I have those patients coming to me saying, how am I supposed to tell when I'm in menopause and how am I supposed to know when the marina can come out if I'm not having menstrual cycles because of the marina? And we've said that the definition of menopause is 12 months without a cycle. But here in my situation, I'm using the marina and that's what's causing me not to have a cycle. So in those patients, uh, I tell them to be on the lookout for other signs of menopause, such as hot flashes being the most common one, although not every woman will have hot flashes or night sweats in the menopause. In that patient population, what I would usually recommend that as we approach the age of menopause, which in North America, the average age of menopause is 51. As we're approaching that age, their family physician can periodically, in this circumstance, order blood work, uh, namely an LH and FSH level, um, which can tell us whether or not uh, the woman is likely in menopause or not. Now, these blood levels do fluctuate somewhat and are not 100% diagnostic of menopause, but in this situation, since we're not able to use the clinical history of the absence of menses, um, that's something that we would rely on. The bottom line is that what I tell my patients in this situation at the five-year mark with a marina, if there is any doubt whether or not 
the patient is still um, going to have menstrual cycles once it's removed, whether or not the patient has yet entered into menopause. The better thing is just to simply leave it in for the full duration, so the full five to seven uh, years. If someone enters into menopause and still has a marina present, even beyond that point of menopause, it's not harmful for the IUD to remain in for the full duration. And in fact, in many women, they are benefiting from the extra exposure to the progesterone of the uterine lining because this additional progesterone exposure is actually preventative uh, with regards to uterine cancer and can help decrease the rates of uterine cancer and pre-cancer um, in marina users or levonorgestrel IUD users. So the bottom line is, if you're not having cycles with Marina, you can check to see if you're menopausal with blood work uh, that your family doctor can order. If there's any doubt at the five to seven year mark whether or not you're menopausal, it is safe for the Marina to remain in place uh, for the full five to seven years duration, even if you've already entered into menopause. One thing I wanted to um, briefly mention is that I acknowledge that a great number of women in this age group are using Marina um, or a levonorgestrel IUD, um, maybe not for contraception, but for uh, menstrual cycle issues. So whether it be heavy or painful menses or both, uh, because the Marina IUD has been approved as treatment for uh, heavy menses and painful menses. Uh, it is also one of our first line uh, options for managing uh, that problem, um, in addition to being our first line option or a first line option for contraception. So oftentimes we may be seeing women in their uh, late 40s, uh, early 50s with heavy periods, uh, which can happen over time and is not an infrequent occurrence in this age group. Um, so these women may or may not have a partner who's had a vasectomy or have had a previous tubal ligation and don't require contraception or may not be sexually active, whatever the case may be. But in this group, we're using the levonorgestrel IUD um, in order to uh, have a positive effect on menstrual cycles. So that's a really common situation as well that we see. So those are just a few words on using uh, intrauterine contraception in the perimenopausal period. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, as I end every video, I'll say that in less than the time that it took you to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted. Uh, the whole thing takes about five minutes and provides five years of worry-free contraception. Five minutes, five years. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.